So uh, we have built the first thing is social media as a site. It is important for essay writing and most important ethics also. And maybe interview if they ask uh, some questions like this. But essay particularly it is very important. We have to understand a study has been published by Wall Street Journal. The study highlights that 23 percent of teenage girls said that they felt bad about their bodies. Instagram made them feel even worse. 40 percent of the boys in the U.S. said the same thing that Instagram made them feel about themselves. Why? Because the thing is, this Instagram, you know, this social media shows you a world you cannot have, but like to have. It raises expectations, something nobody can match. That's why, you know, jumping from one person to another is happening. Because you expect too much from a person who has booked it on Instagram, but you have not given anything. Okay, it does not work like this. Okay, there are limitations to everything, and these expectations which are increasing, and this is a very common phenomenon that social media is often linked with social depression. Very easily, it is linked with social depression because you want a world you cannot have, but that Instagram or Facebook, whatever, it shows you a you know rosy picture. And that is one of the reasons why people are increasing in civil services exam. Why are you preparing for that? Because you know there are Instagram posts where I hear of Vincent Clark, but also Shosha Bali is there. Who knows? But after that, he will salute Mahatma and Minister will get down below. Okay, this is also happening. But the thing is, that part is not shown. Only the part which is gloomy, which the part which is glamorous is shown. The gloomy part is not shown in the social media. And you think everything is glamorous. And because of this, in spite of having what you have. You are more looking toward what you don't have rather than what you have. Of course, when you are about the problem, the problem is you are trying to have something you cannot, and you are not enjoying something that you have. Because of this, it is becoming a big problem. It is literally becoming a big problem, and large number of teenagers are under clinical depression. So, in that context, we have to deal with this news. If you look at users in India, but sir, whatever is there, you know, sort of idea. Okay, actual figures are not very important. Just have a sort of idea how many users are there. Now, how to deal with this madness in India? First thing that you have is Information Technology Act 2000. It deals with social media and other platforms in India. <coughs> Particularly, it has rules about encryption of data. It talks about cyber crime, electronic commerce. It even deals with digital signature. You know, nowadays everything is digitalized. All the digital document or the signs made on digital documents are valid under Information Technology Act 2000. Chali, so it's not a big problem. What is the issue is here? IP rules. These are made by Modi government in 2021 to govern social media. Now the problem that we have here is because Supreme Court observed this multiple times. Supreme Court asked the government to bring these rules because most important child pornography, rape, gang rape, image these. These are very common on social media platforms. As you have seen on Instagram, soft porn is becoming very common now. Soft porn. No content is not just to show it. And you have millions of followers. So this soft porn is becoming bad and it is deteriorating social norms in India at a very rapid pace. And majorly Instagram is victim of soft porn and the rest of it. But Instagram particularly is there. So ad hoc committee of Rajya Sabha said the same thing that it is very necessary to regulate social media, particularly for the health of children and most important the norms in the societies, which are getting manipulated very easily and people are getting depressed there. Fine. So based on that, uh, government of India brought IT rules. Under IT rule, it says that every social media company must establish a grievance redressal mechanism. A mechanism where you can complain if there is a problem. They have to ensure online safety and dignity of users, especially of women users, because you know nowadays fake videos and fake photos are very common. They can even picture and paste it on anything. And it is always like, if not look me, they are all they are like, oh, I have seen this video. That may be fake also, but nonetheless, it is destroying lives. A lot of lives are being destroyed just because somebody make a fake video or something. They say you must have a given suggestion mechanism, online safety and dignity of users. Most important thing that they have to do is appoint a chief <coughs> compliance officer. All social media platform must appoint a chief compliance officer who will ensure compliance with the Act, that is the IT Act 2000, and the rules, the IT rules 2021, as amended from time to time. 
Next, they have to appoint a contact person for 24-7 coordination with law enforcement agency plus a resident defense officer. Why resident? Because if you are a foreigner, we cannot bring you under the law. If you are not an Indian citizen, how would you bring how would we bring you under the law? So we need a resident defense officer plus a monthly compliance report. See, this point is a bit disputed one. This point is that service providers, social media including, they have to identify the nature of messaging and the most important, the first originator of information. Now, they are the apprehension that government can use it to identify critics. The critics who write an article in something they should put over their photograph through social media platform. If government can force a social media company to tell them who is the originator of the content, then you know government of India has two favorite pet dogs by the name of PDCBI. Job, that you put in the game. So, this is a problem. Understand it is a problem of government. Point the chat. Because there are a lot of fake news which are made only to destroy the society. It has nothing more than that. But nonetheless, this point can become a point. <laughs> this is a point that can be used to make uh, find the people who are government thinks as problems. So, this is a very severe point. Let's see. Next. Now, the issue of intermediary status. Uh, what is the issue? Uh, section is not important. For your reference, I have put it. Just remember the information technology here. It says an intermediary is a person or entity that receives, stores, and transmits information or provides services for transmission of information. An intermediary is something in between a social media. They are not responsible for any content. Intermediary. This is a problem. Once you are declared an intermediary, it is not a status. Remember, it is not a registration. All social media platforms are intermediary and they deny accountability. They say, yeah, hame kya pata who is publishing work. But it is a lie. Because all social media platforms have a logarithm. And that algorithm promotes any content that is being watched more. Aapne notice ya hoga? It creates a loop. If you watch one video of particular nature, the next suggestion is of same. Then after that same, after that same. If you keep on watching, videos of same nature, maybe fake also, you can be radicalized. It's a big problem we are witnessing in India. People killing other people just because they wear some different kind of clothes, just because they eat something different. How? They have been radicalized. And understand problem with the radicalization. Once you radicalize a person, you cannot bring them back. That's exactly what happened with Mujahideen. Pakistan raised Mujahideen for US against USSR. When USSR went in Afghanistan 1979, USA wanted to remove Afghanistan, remove USSR from Afghanistan. It knew if I enters directly in Afghanistan, it will be a nuclear <coughs> war. Something I cannot afford. So what they found? Let's have Pakistan. They funded Pakistan by money and weapons, United States of America I'm talking about, and they raised Mujahideen. These very Mujahideen, when USSR went out of Afghanistan in 1989, they became unemployed. Um, radicalized people have a problem. They are potential bomb. If you do not explore, explore them on others, they will explode on you. So they found another place known as Jammu Kashmir. Notice this. When terrorism in Jammu Kashmir starts, it starts in, at the ending of 1989. In 1990s, when terrorism in Jammu Kashmir became prominent. Why? Because these radicalized bombs, which Pakistan used in Afghanistan, now were unemployed. Now, Pakistan knew their danger. So Pakistan thought, why shouldn't I give them a purpose? And the purpose was liberation of Jammu Kashmir. Of course, I the point, understand that declaration is very dangerous game, but more or less all politicians play this game. So, but nonetheless, so the intermediary status has been given to social media and they are protected from any accountability for any third party content. Provided they abide by the law, they abide by uh, the authorities and the court. If authorities and court says to a social media company, put down this advertisement, put down this video, put down this post, if they do not, then they become accountable. Otherwise, they enjoy the status of intermediary. Clear to everyone, social media have an intermediary status in India. 
तो दिस इज वट हैपन अब रेडिकलाइजेशन मैंने आपको समझा ही दिया रेडिकलाइजेशन में दिस वेरी बिग प्रॉब्लम एंड वी आर लिविंग इन अ टाइम वे यू फील दैट यू हैव अ फ्री विल पर ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं है फ्री विल जैसा इसके लिए वी ब्रॉड समथिंग कॉल क्राइस्ट चर्च कॉल टू एक्शन क्राइस्ट चर्च इज अ प्लेस इन न्यूजीलैंड वेयर दे वॉज अ फंडामेंटलिस्ट मेजोरिटी क्रिश्चियन पर्टिकुलरली वी वेंट आउट ऑन अ किलिंग स्प्री टू कर्न वी वेंट आउट एंड स्टार्ट किलिंग मुस्लिम बताते हैं कि इस्लामो को भी ऐसा नाम इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड द वे वंस अपॉन अ टाइम दे यूज्ड टू बी एंटी सेमिटिज्म हेटेड ऑफ ज्यू इज नोन एज एंटी सेमिटिज्म एंड रिमेंबर ज्यूज वर किल्ड इन एंटायर यूरोप हिटलर टुक इट टू अनदर एक्सट्रीम इसलिए वी ब्लेम हिटलर बट एंटायर यूरोप वाज किलिंग ज्यूज एंड दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद डिक्टेटरशिप्स बिकॉज़ डिक्टेटरशिप्स कैन नॉट गिव यू बेसिक नेसेसिटी कैन नॉट गिव यू जॉब कैन नॉट गिव यू फूड सो व्हाट दे गिव यू एन एनिमी When you have an enemy, you forget that. Hey, brother, I do not have food at home. You are like, oh, ये problem है मेरे पास. And they blame everything on that community. That is what Hitler did with Jew. He blamed them for everything. Germany lost in First World War because of Jews. Germany in the People of War because of Jews. We have a Weimar Constitution because of Jews. They blame everything on the Jew, and people have a tendency. They don't want to take the blame. You are poor, so you don't want to take the blame. Ki I may have done something wrong. No, but you have not done anything wrong. What is it? Open relationship. You have not done anything wrong in life. I was so perfectly okay. Like you said, 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 Foreign content online. It has been signed by government, including India, plus some major tech companies. Thanks, we know them: Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. They control the world today. Understand this? You think the prime minister, president controls the world? No. They control the world because they control narratives. They. This is something that has been nicely written over the Orwellian world. Yes, this one. It was a. Article written by Mark Leonard. He said, "What is Orwellian world?" George Orwell wrote a novel, 1984, based on which you have a Big Brother show in America and India with Big Boss. It is based on George Orwell's novel. George Orwell predicted a world which is filled with surveillance systems. The government is watching you every second. The line he used is, "The Big Brother is watching you." That Big Brother is watching you every second of your life, every place. Even I to the intimate places they are watching. So when you know somebody is watching you, would you behave naturally? Never. We all are like this. If you know somebody is watching us, then we do not behave naturally. And so does happen here. A state which controls every second of your life, watches every second of your life, can control your thought process. And who is doing this? Bank companies. Let me give a quick example. That is what ha happened with Cambridge and the integration of Google. It is the reason for the rise of right wing from or uh, somebody in India also. By their rising in power, social media has become a big hand for them. उससे वो fake news spread कर रहे हैं. I hope you have seen there was a spokesperson of a particular party. She said in a debate or something that India did not gain independence. It was on a 99 year lease. अब पता नहीं उसे ये बात किसने बताई? उसे ये बात किसने बताई? Social media. WhatsApp is must have got a forward. That forward basically says that Congress did not win independence. It was on a lease by the Britishers of 1990. When this lease will expire, India will again become British colony. It's a lie, but she believes it. Bright student of WhatsApp. Graduate, I was a bright student. Okay, so they are similar thing. You can find numerous photos online. Nothing is there. Gandhi is there. Sutta Mahatma. Nehru, two girls are there. Gandhi is there. These are fake videos, fake photos. But problem is, a majority of India does not understand these photos and videos, and they believe in them. 
That's why you have a phenomena known as bhakti. Understand, bhakti is not a person. Bhakti is a phenomena. Anyone who believes in somebody without critical appraisal. I have to suggest the, uh, the person with whom you have taken oath to live forever. If my neighbor has put a and then you are unable to find any weakness in government functioning. It's too bad. Huh? And very good example is Donald Trump's election. Donald Trump election may Facebook has the data of all virtually every American. Facebook sold that data, your personal data, which you give to Facebook by every comment, every like, every comment, every comment, every like, every post that you make. You generate a data point about your identity. These companies can predict your behavior, your likely voting choices better than you can imagine. That is what we call big data analysis. So what Facebook did, Facebook sold this data to a company called Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica divided the people of America into three brands. People who are likely to vote Donald Trump, people who are likely to vote Hillary Clinton, and people who are undecided. After that, they make fake videos, fake posts, and they fed this undecided people. In quote, through Facebook, they fed them. And how they know that these people will vote Trump? Of course, the like you make, the comment you make shows what kind of person you are. What are your political choices? What are your personal choices? They know better than you can imagine. So they gave this data to Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica sold this data to Donald Trump. Donald Trump used that data and used fake videos and look, he became president of America. A liar, a pathological liar he is. Always he used to lie about everything. So America, which is the world's most advanced country, saw the maximum number of people killed in Corona. Why? Because they had a pathological liar in power who told to the people, Corona is a hoax. It is nothing, don't worry. Why you have a threat class security with an ambulance 24 hours outside your home. Common people don't. So American, so see America, the world's most advanced country, suffered the maximum death of Americans because they had elected a pathological liar into power. And how they elected him in power? Because of social media. This is the problem. Social media is not only endangering personal life, putting you in clinical depression. Social media is also radicalizing people, creating bugs. And social media is also influencing election every year. That's why these fan companies, it is being said, they control this world right now. But the real thing is that they control narratives. And who control narratives control the world simply state. So some suggestions have been given that is what is written. Citizens have illusion of they have an illusion that they have freedom, they have empowerment. Agar aisa hai, so try to make a comment right now on Twitter. Delhi police will greet you with freedom. That is the reality we are witnessing in this world. So please remember this. They are promoting a new form of censorship. It's a new censorship. How we understand censorship? Somebody dictating you. Abu Nahira. Nobody is dictating you. They are influencing your passive mind. They are controlling your thought. They are controlling your vision. They are controlling your ideas by feeding you narratives. Or you don't know that you are being manipulated every second of your life. That is the biggest problem. They are brainwashing citizens to reject even true information as they. So, India got independence is a fact. I mean, can't dispute it. But that for that girl, India is on lease of 99 years. Such a false propaganda who she believes. Why? Because she is now a victim of a system. That is what Ravish Kumar our journalist has called. The social media is creating zombies in India. What is a zombie? Zombies are the people who have body without mind. And they eat anyone on a command. So these zombies are doing whistle blowing. The leader makes a whistle. Chalo beta lynch kar de. They do not even think it is a wala vikti hai. That could be the only soul, only bad ending person of a family who is a tough to work, family who and that person may not be doing the illegal thing but a post aya that some cow is being transported from a uh, truck jai or maar diya usse that person has a lot of people linked with him aap log to maar diya because you hate that person so much you forget your own humanity that's why they said that social media is creating zombies now aapko samajh mein aa raha hai so that is the problem with social media three problem we have understood pehla it is making you feel bad about yourself 
a clinical depression problem. Second, it is radicalizing people. Third, they are controlling world's narrative. How come you think America is right or Ukraine is right? How come mm -hmm. Russia cannot be right? Hey, Russia, imagine for example, if Bangladesh decides to join China, can Donald bring his work? Because we have a narrow corridor known as Siliguri Corridor. North of it you have China. South may you have Bangladesh. If Bangladesh joins China-Pakistan alliance, then they can cut off India northeast from India. Would India tolerate Bangladesh in this section? But then at the same thing to Ukraine, I don't care what you do, but do not join NATO. Joining NATO means that American soldiers will be on Russian border. How could anyone tolerate? Would we tolerate uh, Chinese soldiers in Bangladesh border? Kabine. But this narrative we do not know. Why? Because majority of social media that you view is English based. We do not understand Russian, we do not read Russian. So you cannot understand Russia's point of view. But you know America's point of view. Same is going with Israel. Who <coughs> knows? Israel ka previous class mein jo main nahi le paya, usme I have discussed this. So Israel ka same problem hai. Israel came to Palestine, captured their land, and then it is trying ki mujhe mana ja raha hai. It is not true. Main nahi keh raha what happened with the Jew people is not bad. Bahut bura hoga. But it does, just because something bad has happened to you, it does not give you a right to do the same thing to other person. Aapke saath hoga bahut hi bura. Iska matlab ye thodi na ki aap wo bhi repeat karo kisi aur ke saath. Jaise samjiye. A two-state plan, hai. remember in Israel or Palestine case, there is a two-state plan. UN sanctioned two-state plan which says Palestine will have some area and Israel will have some area. Israel slowly is eating Palestine and their chances by 2050 they will be not in a single inch under Palestinian control. It will be entirely Israel. A con ordered career. I know what Hamas did was wrong. Yes, क्यों <laughs> It is dominated by American companies, and American companies means American narrative. Agar same thing, I can personally guarantee if America would be a Muslim country. So, as a Palestinian people, we are talking about Israel. Because if America would be a Muslim country, then all social media of America would be propagating the Palestinian side. They would make you see that Palestinian people are the most deprived community in the world, and you are like, oh, very sad. But you understand Israel better than Palestine because. Social media. This is one example that shows that social media in today's time are becoming too powerful. They control narrative, they control the world basically. They can make government, they can break governments. So some suggestion has been given. George Soros has said we need to regulate social media companies, treating them as public utilities. It's very high time we should bring regulation and treat all social media like public utilities. And Roger McNeil has gone even further. He says, treat social media as a threat to public health. The way you treat tobacco and alcohol. It is still there will be a warning. Because smoking is dangerous to health. But Gina can say that as well. Anyway, clear to everyone? So we have seen three problems. The possible solution is regulation of social media. And Roger McNeil has suggested, consider them as a threat to public health. Even some uh, countries like China and other, they have even started. Yes, Aditi, that is also an example, the rise of pseudo-LGBTs. There are some people who are generally LGBT, the other people who think they are LGBT. How? Narrative shaping. Because America is a highly liberal country and America may all social media giants are there who shape narrative. And there are some people who are not LGBTs, but the social media is so heavy nowadays. This is for example, if you've seen that Netflix series, Sex Education. Yes, yes, yes. Usme dekhe, usme homo, homosexuality has been explored exhaustively. So, kya hoga the young generation which is bonding? Chalo, let me experiment. <laughs> I'm not saying they should not. It will be like be. I'm a very strong supporter of liberal choices. It's your choice. You want to love a girl, love it. But under influence, a lot of people are doing it. 
not because they are LGBT, just because they believe they are LGBT. And who shapes it? Social media. So, of course, they are becoming a severe threat to this world. We don't have time. Next week. Adhar. So, Adhar, there were some issues and some things. Let's see. Adhar, remember, it's a proof of identity. It is a proof of identity. It is not a proof of citizenship. So, International Candidating Agency, the Moody's Investor Services, has published a report titled Decentralized Financial and Digital Assets. So, please remember the name of the report and the publisher. We will see who often ask in Quillis that which of these uh, publishes this report. Please remember that. It says that decentralized digital identity system is better than centralized system like Aadhaar. Hai problem hai because the okay, government can claim anything, but Aadhaar data is not very safe because no data in this world is safe. You cannot protect any data, and there have been chances or there have been suggestions that a lot of data is leaked anyway. But if you have any way you provide too many data on yourself, you can log in karte hai, na, you provide your data, you can provide data, but yeah, I like this person, I like that person. So, you have a problem. Adhar is giving you biometric data. Something you don't give. When you use social media, you give all data except biometric data, your fingerprint, your iris scans. Adhar has that out. This is a problem Modi highlighted that Adhar is a centralized system prone to hacking, and every system is prone to hacking. Nothing is absolutely secure. Can you hear this thing? Let's see. So, Adhar can you know it's a unique? It is issued by UIDAI, which is a statutory body under Aadhaar Act 2016. Remember, it is a statutory body, means made by a law parliament. So, we have to know your information is like biometric, they are secured in a database. It is one of a kind of identification, it has dealt with the presence of host and fake individual, no doubt. Aadhaar has worked on this, something we call this government is implementing. Jam Trinity, Jam means Chandan, Aadhaar and Mobile. Aadhaar has done a good job because Aadhaar has provided an identity document. So government was facing a problem in government services, how to identify people. Now government can identify people using Aadhaar, transfer money directly in your Chandan account, you can access that money using Mobile. That is what is called Jam Trinity, a very good idea, very functioning idea. But remember Aadhaar is not immune from hacking. And also, Aadhaar is not immune from manipulation. Aadhaar may only be easily multiple Aadhaar ban jate. I don't know kaise banta hai, because Aadhaar has biometric data. In spite of that, a lot of people have multiple Aadhaar cards. This is a thing when some uh, IPS officers got graduated, so Pradhan Mantri was interacting with them. Uh, online webinar or something was there. So he just out of curiosity asked an IP, IPS professional, Ki, what you learned on training? So he didn't know what he was talking about. Samajh nahi he said, sir, we had a peculiar problem. A lot of people came with multiple Aadhaar cards. Modi ji took charge of the back card. Because, he said, I didn't know that he is saying something that is politically very dangerous. Because government is saying Aadhaar is full proof. And he is saying that Modi ji is saying that we got a lot of complaints with multiple Aadhaar cards issue to the same person. He said, it's like this world. But it was a real problem. Because there are multiple Aadhaar cards. So Aadhaar is not full proof. That's why Moody is saying, have a decentralized mechanism. Aadhaar where all data is stored in a central database. If somebody hacks that, and believe me, I can guarantee somebody will hack it. There is no system in this world which is immune from hacking. So the problem is 140 billion people will have, 140 crore people will have their data available to anyone, most importantly, enemy countries. Like China, Pakistan, they can use this data to manipulate your identity, force you to yield information. So the government is not good. You know, government has used Pegasus, a spy software. I don't believe that the government has used it. But some anti-national people say that the government has used Pegasus. That is a lie. Truly told. Chali dekhi. So UIDI, I mean, I have told you that it's a 2016 statutory body. It is under, please remember, it is under NIR. It is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. It has an individual UID card and Aadhaar. Fir yaad rakhiye, Aadhaar is a proof of identity only. It is not a proof of citizenship. Citizenship ke liye we have a different card known as NRC card. 
गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू गो फॉर नेशनल रजिस्टर ऑफ इंडियन सिटीजन उसके अलग ही इश्यू में बाद में देखेंगे तो आधार लेबल पेमेंट सिस्टम एज आई टोल्ड यू नाउ मोर और लेस ऑल सर्विसेज आर आधार लिंक इफ यू वांट इफ यू वांट राशन का इफ यू वांट राशन गो टू अ राशन शॉप वेरीफाई योरसेल्फ यूजिंग आधार गेट योर राशन इफ यू वांट टू गेट सम मनी इन योर अकाउंट गो वेरीफाई एंड टेक आउट द मनी फ्रॉम एनी कॉयर समथिंग वी कॉल कॉमन सर्विस सेंटर्स आजकल हर जगह अवेलेबल है कॉमन सर्विस सेंटर्स तो आधार दे बी वर्किंग अ लॉट एक वर्कर्स आधार कार्ड इज लिंक्ड टू देयर इवन मनरेगा मनरेगा में भी वांट विजिट यू हैव टू ऑथेंटिकेट यूजिंग आधार It is linked to your bank account. It is uh, NPCI. Its name you have heard before. National Payment Corporation of India. It has developed Aadhaar, basically payment system. Aadhaar is not done. Aadhaar is UAE. But the payment system through Aadhaar has been developed by NPCI. It is the same organization which has developed UPI. It is the same organization which has developed Fastback cards. All these things are developed by NPCI, a very innovative body of government of India. अब व्हाट आर द कंसर्न पहला क्वांटिटी फ्रॉड आई टोल्ड यू देयर हैव बीन न्यूमरस इंस्टेंसेस वेयर यू हैव आधार कार्ड इन योर नेम दैट इज लिंक्ड टू योर सॉरी राशन कार्ड आपको पता ही नहीं यू नो आईडिया दैट यू हैव अ राशन कार्ड इशूड ऑन योर नेम दे यूज योर आधार डिटेल बिकॉज़ कभी ना कभी यू मस्ट हैव विटनेस दैम दे हैव योर आधार डिटेल ऑन दैट आधार डिटेल दे गेट अ राशन कार्ड इशूड आपको नहीं पता होता बट गवर्नमेंट इज इशूइंग राशन ऑन योर नेम विद दिस राशन मार्क या इसी थिंग का दिस इज अ क्वांटिटी प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट इज ऑथेंटिकेशन चैलेंज because a large number of people in india uses their hand to work and particularly the labor class and because of this their fingerprints they often get manipulated or they often get distorted and because of this they are unable to verify their identity this kind of government is trying to move to iris system rather than fingerprint scanning they are moving to iris scan dekhte hain kab tak hota hai and there is infrastructure limitation on the pata hai reliable connection internet connectivity Fading fingerprints. I told you phone connectivity because OTP comes in. Aadhaar, you will know. Lack of transparency because the public data on authentication attempts is failure. There have been numerous instances. You will get messages. Somebody is trying to authenticate Aadhaar. You will know. I am not aware of it. But you can log. Remember, this is the M Aadhaar. M Aadhaar app. So you can log your biometric data. You can actually log your data. Nobody can use your biometric data unless you provide a specific OTP to enable it. आप उसे चाहे तो लॉक कर सकते हैं इवन आल्सो क्रिएट समथिंग कॉल्ड बीआईडी वर्चुअल आईडी रदर देन आधार आईडी यू कैन यूज वर्चुअल आईडी विद चेंजेस ओवर टाइम सो आधार नंबर विल बी द सेम यू डू नॉट हैव टू शेयर आधार नंबर एनी मोर ऑल यू कैन शेयर इज बीआईडी एंड प्लस यू कैन लॉक योर बायोमेट्रिक डेटा पर ये आप कर सकते हैं मेजॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया कैन नॉट डू दिस इतनी लिटरेसी नहीं है वहां ठीक है दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम सिक्योरिटी कैन 